All right, so for this little video, I'm just going to show you how to throw Adobe Scan onto your phone and then how to use it fairly quickly. What you're going to want to do is I've got all this stuff in the background. Let me kill all this. All right, so here's my phone. And so I'm going to go to my apps. I'm going to find my Play Store. If you have an, uh, an Apple phone, then you're going to probably go to the iTunes Store. Wherever your app store is, go to that. So I'm going to click on my Play Store, and then I do a search up here for Adobe Scan. So it should have this icon. This is free, all right? So don't don't pay for anything. Um, but you can click Install and then open it up. So I've already had it installed, so I'm just going to go, go ahead and click Open. It starts it up, and now this just takes a picture of stuff and then converts the picture. I want to go back because I already started a project here. You know what? I'm going to close it out and then I'm going to open it up again. Where is it? School Adobe Scan. So we started it up and now I have a document here. So I just kind of hover over the document. I am not pressing anything, it just automatically looks for it. When it thinks it finds it, then it automatically takes a picture of it. These little things here are the cropping, uh, is the cropping square or you know whatever you want to call it because you can change the shape of it. So just pull it around until you have the document that you want to save. There we go. Yeah, we'll save that. All right, so then we can go ahead and click continue. If we wanted to take another photo, so I want to, I want another page. I would just go ahead. I kind of look it away so it doesn't try to detect a document. Bring it back, and then just repeat the process. It's going to search for the document, and then when it finds it, it's going to go ahead and automatically take a picture. Completely ignore what's on this page. It was a question that one of my former students had. I click continue. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm done. Then I just go ahead and I click down in that lower right hand corner where I see my pages. That's going to open up my save feature. So here I can do some other things to it if I really, really want to. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save PDF. So it's going to come in here. It's going to recognize text. Now this saves it onto your phone. So you can go through your phone and uh, upload a file. Uh, so if I open up Canvas, you can do this directly through your phone. It's kind of fun. It's not going to look the same as yours because apparently it knows that I'm not a student. I'm actually an instructor. Uh, but I'll click here into this class. And then if you wanted, if you click into Assignments, um, you can upload as long as I've as long as I've given you permission you can upload into it uh, outside of that what I would do is to go back and I would come down here and I would send a message so I'm sending a message here uh, my subject might be um, you know, like uh, test work. Obviously, you'd want to put, you know, which test you're talking about because there's lots of tests out there. Um, and then I would attach and attach from my device. It should bring up your most recent. And then this scan right here, unless you renamed it, this scan right here is in fact the thing that you want. So you click OK and send. Message cannot be blank. Fine. Whatever. Send. Okay, so now. Okay, so I'm back. Um, <laughs> I have to. Uh, I needed to splice the video because I couldn't find out where it actually sent the message. Um, apparently, the way Canvas works is because I'm an instructor, I can't send a message to myself through Canvas and have it pop up in the inbox. So I had to go back here and I had to find my um, uh, I had to find my sent pieces. So as you can see here, I have 
my scan. So if I download it, it now pops up. And so this is, that's it. And so you can see it made two pages of it. This is a kind of a cool thing and it's free. So by all means, um, this is how I would like you to submit your work because I do have a program that allows me to mark up on a PDF and save it. Um, I spent t uh, 12 bucks on it, so I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to use it too. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, always ask me. I'm here. All right, thanks.